good morning guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought i might just film my isolation weekend so in melbourne we're in stage four lockdown if you didn't already know but we've been in lockdown forever seems like forever i think since march but this is the most intense lockdown that we've had so pretty much nothing's open and only the essential services are i haven't seen andy for two weeks which is not that bad but i will be seeing him today or oh, tonight i'll be going over i thought i might just show you guys what i get up to on the weekend usually it's filled with food more food what's new it's pretty much 11 o'clock um i've just gotten ready and i need to go buy some pps that's what i'm planning to cook for the fam today so i want to do that and oh my gosh i need to go find some mango i'm not sure if there's mango in season right now probably woolies or coles doesn't have it so i need to go to one of those individual fruit shops because i have something so excited my sisters and i have been waiting to try this thing out but you guys will see later but oh my gosh i'm so excited for that so i'm in all black what's new gotta put on my mask now because i'm about to head out it is such a beautiful day today <laughs> So I'm back home now and I got these pippies because I went to Footscray and they didn't have any fresh ones. Well, they had like these massive bad clams. So I didn't really want to use them. Um, so I got this at an Asian supermarket. I really hope that they taste good. I don't know, they're frozen. Fresh is always better, but can't remember. they didn't have it. So I have to just work with what I've got. What I'm going to do is just soak them. This is so dangerous. This is everything that I got plus the pippies. So I need this. I got the exo sauce and this chili oil just because we've run out. These mangoes are for this taste test we're doing later, like I said. Also these cucumbers and this lime. I got this because, I don't know, we love it. We love japchae, so I just bought this. I'm going to start prepping the ingredients so we can begin cooking the pippies. So the recipe that I'll be following is this one from Jessie B. Her one looks pretty good and she's super cute, so I'm going to try that. This is pretty much all you need. She didn't have onions in it, but I love onions, so I'm just going to put it in. I'm going to quickly take a break because we want to raid. This is our life during ISO. We do a lot of remote raids. So let's just do this and then we'll continue on with the cooking. It's like, whoa, there's like 12 people in there now. Do you know you can do this? I just found out not too long ago. How cool. <laughs> now it's the hard part because I can never catch legendaries. So firstly, you want to give it a golden raspberry. Wait till it attacks, throw. Great throw. Ooh, excellent. Got it? Not yet. Did you? Yeah, got it. Oh, mine ran away. What a waste. Anyways, I would not recommend getting the pippies that I just got because, damn, it has so much dirt. Like, you can really see there's still some there. This is my stance right now because... <laughs> Can't be bothered getting my tripod upstairs, so it's just gotta gotta make it work. I'm gonna prep the other ingredients. It says 100 mils of chicken stock, but because she's only making a kilo and I've got two, I'm gonna double everything. She says half a teaspoon of salt, and I think because of chicken stock, oh wow, my measuring skills are horrible. Well, not all of them are open and there's like nothing in here. Oh my gosh. I really wish they had the fresh one. It's been a long time and these have not opened so they are dead. And that is such a waste. I don't know what to do with this now. And out of the two kilos I got, only that many opened up. Yeah, I think I'm 
Never buying Frozen again. So far, this is the biggest fail ever. I don't know what to do. Like, should I cook this? Ah. So this is what it looks like. There's only like one plate. Okay, uh, these are my younger sisters. Yes, Ew, younger than me. me wear my pajamas. Okay, I'm gonna get the one with the most sauce, obviously, because I'm trying to look most sauce. Um, this. You know, I'm just I'm gonna so take excited. this one. <gasps> oh, oh, ready? And you like mine? Oh. Oh. Really, we're it's just actually making the really good. sauce off the shelf. Mm. Well. Going on try, even though she keeps saying it's a fail. Yeah, it tastes amazing. Really good. Wait. It's amazing. Yeah. My brother. Yeah. Ew, my brother. Mm. Nice. Do not get frozen pippies. Because they'll turn out shit. Always get fresh ones if you're planning to do the pippies in extra sauce. The day is so beautiful. Look at this tree. It's just thriving. My brother came and saved the day and we're going to have buttermilk chicken burgers. They look so good. I believe that's like sriracha mayo, chicken, pickles. So we're trying my brother's pot pies. Is that how you say it? Pot pies. Chicken burger. Popeye's inspired chicken burger. Where are the pickles? Another. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, Super no. juicy. That shit was juicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so juicy. Okay, guys, the moment Shh. you've been waiting for, Absolutely. we're prepping all the stuff that we're gonna eat. So small. No, I'm not tall. You guys are just short. Okay, for your hair, right? So, have my sisters here, and we've been wanting to try tahin for so long. This took about three weeks to come. Someone knocked on the door for you and was like, Is it tahin? <laughs> <laughs> and I ran down the stairs so many times and was disappointed, but it finally arrived yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, we thought we might do a video and just try it all together. We also want to get chamoy, but it's so expensive to ship here. It's it costs like five dollars. <laughs> But shipping is like 50 bucks. Anyway, so Stella, do you want to explain what we have here? Okay, so first we have some green mango. We couldn't get any yellow ones because it's not in season yet. But that's okay, we'll wait for summer. We have some watermelon. <laughs> we also have some Lebanese cucumber. You have to get the Lebanese one because it's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> extra crisp. Extra crisp. Extra crunch, you know. <laughs> okay, and we also have the um, some golden kiwi fruit. Yes. And then we have some lime on the side. It's oh. not a makeup product. <laughs> so well, tajin. girlfriend. Tahin. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Okay, okay, you want to open it? Okay, well, I guess. Oh, oh shit. So we're gonna try this tahini now. To be honest, what's your expectations of this? Um, um, I feel like it's gonna be like sweet chili. Yeah, sweet, sweet lemon chili, chili. Kind of sour. I'm thinking, you said peri peri salt last yeah, night. Yeah, it. It kind of smells like I salt. said it was like chili noodle powder. Cheers! Okay. It's like really sweet chili noodle powder. Mm -hmm. It's but like very more, sour. It's really sour. It's like hella sour. Whoa. I kind of wish we had some more. Mm, but I love it. Okay, let's try on some fruit. Oh no, my camera is about to die. Damn it. I'm really excited for the watermelon and the cucumber. Girl, you really be stingy on this. Girl, your camera's trying to die and shit. Okay, I think we need more on the mango. Just like another one. Okay. First, we're gonna try. Okay, what do you guys want to try? Mango. Mango. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's we're gonna the mango. Mm. That is so sour. I didn't want to taste anything to be honest. Too. I feel like this is good. I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but I'd rather this mango with um, soy sauce and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, okay, next. That wasn't mm. the greatest. Can no. we try cucumber? Yeah, let's do it. So I've seen people try cucumber with um, a squeeze of lime. So I'm just gonna do that as well. Even though the tahini is already sour. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That one's actually really good. It's just sour. I wasn't expecting tahini like this. Yeah, to be honest, I did not mm. expect it. I was expecting something more well. Yeah, of course. Like, this is like 
Maybe I think we g it up way No, we overhyped it outside because we've been waiting for this. For like so when long. we're watching these Mexican videos, I'll not be drooling crazy. <laughs> okay. Maybe you just need some more. Let's say watermelon for last. I'm oh, not a now. fan of watermelon. Look how this looks right now. It's looking real good. And did I already squeeze lemon? No. no. Okay, squeeze them. I mean lime. I took the piece I wanted. Too bad. <laughs> Ready? But I just. Hey, cheers. Okay. Mmm. This is my favorite. That's actually so bomb. Yum. I reckon it tastes so much better with like fruits. Oh my god, watermelon is actually my favorite. Yeah. But I don't like watermelon on its own. But this. Oh my god. So we have the <laughs> kiwi fruit now. So excited for this one. I feel like I just love kiwi, so I just love it. That is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's okay then. From first to last. Mm -hmm. So you go first. Me, I'm gonna go watermelon, cucumber, mango. I feel like it won't fit on the tahini with this mango. And then kiwi. What about you? Mm, watermelon. Like that. I reckon my one <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is mine. Actually, you know, I've got this. I can't even see the top. So, my one is watermelon, kiwi, cucumber, then the mango. Mango, mango, mango. Why don't we try adding more? Yeah. yeah. And try some lemon on that. I'll put some lime. Oh, lime. I'll do a little squeeze of lime. Okay. Look. 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 on the floor? No. It's too sour. You need juicy fruit. Oh my god. Like, I like sour stuff, but this is not sour. Oh my god. Give me the watermelon. This is actually a lot. I feel like if you eat so much, you're gonna get a heart attack. This has a lot of salt. Too much sodium. And then we put some more. The camera died. Yes, camera died, so I'm just going to use my phone. Overall thoughts, my opinion, or our opinion, we are expecting more. Oh my god, right. like so I thought it would taste better. Like, I'm not saying it tastes bad. We're not offending anyone, well, like, this is just our taste buds. <laughs> I mean, it tastes good, but it's just, not just after that, like, mm, like, like, oh yeah. wow. I think maybe chamoy and tahini, like, you need them yeah. together when you eat. Yeah, because the chamoy is very sweet. Mm. And this is just very the sour. sour. Yeah. Yes. I think you need it for a balance. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, <laughs> well, that's our little tahini test. Yeah, so it was still really rating. good. I'm so happy that we got to try See, it finally. To be honest, my rating is like 6.5. I would just mm. say 7. Like, I'm kind of like in the middle. Yeah. In the middle, but more liking it, but like this. Now, mine's gonna be a seven. Yeah, actually, no, I'm gonna give it a, just like a six. Actually. Oh my, <laughs> not even the point five. No, I'm gonna give it a seven. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Like, it wasn't extremely good. Mm -hmm. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>get up too much yesterday after we tried the tahini actually went over to andy's house and we just chilled played a bit of mahjong we ate fish tacos with the fam and that's about it it was such a chill weekend anyways i'm gonna go for a run before the sun sets and i'll come back and i'll vlog the rest of the night i'm sweating as you can tell so gross. Glad I went for that run. I tracked it on Strava. I'm getting a bit better with the distance. So I did roughly 3Ks in about 25 minutes. My goal is 5K at the end of ISO. I really want to achieve that goal. Just because. I never used to be a running type of person, but ever since isolation, I've started to really enjoy it again. Top it off with this everything but bagel seasoning. It is the best seasoning ever. If you have not tried it, I will teach you how to make it later.
please excuse my super round head and my dark circles but i thought i might show you guys how to make the trader joe's everything but the bagel seasoning i am following a recipe i'll link it down below this shit actually goes off if you have not tried it i seriously recommend you try it you can use it on like your eggs bagels with like cream cheese your salad seriously anything and it tastes amazing my brother bought about 10 bottles when he came back from america and this is pretty much the last one and you can see there's not much left but it's super simple to make so i'm going to show you guys how to make it firstly you need like an empty little jar some measuring spoon you need white sesame seeds black sesame seeds some poppy seeds minced garlic onion flake and last but not least is the sea salt flake when i made this last time i used the melden sea salt flake and that was really nice i feel like the chunks a little bit bigger but this i've made the seasoning before and it works just as well with this recipe i'm doing this one three quarters of a cup or you can go three cups or if you're just trying out three tablespoons and this probably lasts about a week or so depending how much you use <music> is your at home everything but the bagel seasoning seriously try this out and let me know what you guys think it's seriously the best seasoning that you could use i really hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial or whatever it was now on to dinner say hi what are you playing? Minecraft. Haven't you been playing this since the morning? Oh shit, I've actually been playing it since 5 a.m. Actually, 8 p.m. yesterday, and we stayed up till 5 a.m. <laughs> Guys, so I'm probably gonna end the night here. I'm gonna cook up Japche and just enjoy the rest of the night and relax. Wind down and get ready for work tomorrow. So enjoy the rest of the vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.